everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing very well so today's video is going to be summer inspired summer related so i'm heading on holiday in august and i'm kind of got my thinking cap on as to what i need to take with me what i need to make sure i pack and i thought why not make this into a video if any of you are also traveling this summer or if you have any upcoming holidays over the next few weeks or even the next few months hopefully this will come in handy regardless of whether you're going on a beach break or just a city break if you're going anywhere in the summer where there is sunshine where it's hot you are most likely going to need some sort of sun cream now i have a couple of different ones to show you actually because i feel like you're like the possibilities are endless really when it comes to sun care starting with a brand that i have used in the past and really really enjoyed um and that's institute estherderm so this is their protective body lotion it's part of their adapter sun range you can get this brand on space nk i believe i will leave links to everything i can find down below so if you want to get any of this you can do so but this is just your standard body lotion um a cream form really really great as i said i used this last summer and i really enjoyed it but this summer they have have a new launch and this is their adapter sun protective silky body mist now i don't know about you but i do get quite lazy when it comes to as in particular reapplying sun cream so i could be all well and good at the start of a beach day or just a day lounging by the pool and i'll go in with my um body cream and then i'm a bit like oh i don't really want to like cream all over again and a mist is perfect as we're talking about the range i may as well show you their after sun as well so again this is institute esther um, and this is their tan prolonging body lotion anything that says tan prolonging i am there i haven't tried this yet so i can't really comment on it but i'm looking forward to trying it on holiday and this is a new launch from hawaiian tropic this is their duo defense sun lotion so what this has different to the rest of their sun lotion is that this has a protective anti-pollution layer which i think is amazing particularly if you're going on a city break and again hawaiian tropic also have a after sun this is their silk hydration airsoft ultra light after sun lotion final mention is to some face spf so something i've already tried is the elizabeth arden eight hour cream sun defense for face now this is spf 50 i had no idea that elizabeth arden did sun care so i was very 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 excited to hear that they do particularly because this is a part this is part of the eight hour range which i just think is such a well-loved range by everybody and i used this when i went away to tenerife and it was really really great i'm definitely packing it with me for portugal as well just really really liked using this i'm also going to be taking a new brand to me this is called svr i believe it's um i think it's french as well so this is um an anti-redness soothing very high protection face cream i believe it's spf 50 plus um uvb and uva and um, I quite like that this says it's got like anti-redness. They do quite a few of these. I will try and leave them linked all down below. And um, I'm just really, really keen on trying this brand, particularly because it's anti-redness. I get a lot of redness around my cheeks, especially when I start getting really hot. And obviously if you're out sunbathing or if you're out in the sun all day, you are likely to start getting red. So I feel like something that is sort of combating that, so anti-redness, is going to be really great. So I have high hopes for this. Followed by a couple of mists. I feel like mists are quite a new thing in terms of sun care and just hydration. Mists are sort of all of the range at the moment and I am here for them. So first up from Garnier, this is their new UV water. So this is a transparent protecting spray. This one is SPF 30. I do believe the only one they have at the moment is SPF 30 but as long as you are reapplying it and applying enough of it it's absolutely fine it's invisible on the skin it's got aloe vera in there which i always think is super cooling and super hydrating and it's just nice it's something a little bit different it's non-sticky water resistant and you know as i said if you're not into the sun creams and that sort of thing like the lotions having something like this can be really really great moving slightly away from sun care but staying with the mists i have one from loxitan which i'm very excited to try actually this is a fresh moisturizing mist so again it just offers some added boosted moisture for your face and you've got that whole mist thing so it's super easy to apply it's also really great if you want to apply something over your makeup without ruining it just a little mist you get a little spritz all over the face and you are good to go oh and i also really wanted to show you this which i actually think is really cool again this is from garden and this is their after sun tissue mask so it says it intensely hydrates and revitalizes immediately soothes, soothes and tan looks more luminous so 
this sounds amazing i'm so excited to use this on holiday i think it'll be absolutely amazing but if you're not really into like after sun i feel like there isn't too much after sun for your face you would usually usually just go for your typical moisturizer i feel like this is quite nice so i'm very excited to try this and again this is new from garnier now i don't know about you but whenever i go on holiday i am inundated with mosquito bites this is the sos solution for bites and i just think it's a really good thing to just keep in your handbag on to some summer hair care i'm not majorly into my hair care i will put that out there i don't do too much to my hair so i don't use a ton of products but when i go away i do like to be a little more careful with my hair like potentially use a few more masks or more so when i come back i would like to sort of rehydrate and re-repair my hair once i'm back but for whilst i'm away this by lee stafford is their anti-humidity spray um, liquid umbrella helps keep your hair beautifully smooth when the humid air wants it to frizz. I wouldn't say I suffer too much with frizzy hair, but just, you know, those strands that are just flying about. And I think this is going to be really great to just keep everything in place, keep it all tame. This next one isn't purely a summer essential. It's basically an all year round essential, but I thought this one was really great for the summer. So this is a deodorant by Soft and Gentle, and this is their Hair Minimize deodorant. So that sounds good, right? So this is, it's meant to sort of just help reduce hair growth, which I think is amazing. It's also claims to have 48, prote 48 hour protection in there, anti-white marks, and I just think it sounds great. And in particular, if it is gonna help minimize the hair under the arms, like to avoid, avoid any unnecessary surprises, I feel like this is really good. So if you are going on holiday or anything like that, then it could be worth picking up. Seeing as we are talking about hair for a while, I thought I would also mention the Venus Travel Razor. I think it's called like the Snap Razor or something. So it's just a really, really small razor. It comes in this little box so you can keep it nice and safe and it's just a bit more um, hygienic, I guess. And it's great i think it's really good you can obviously change different heads so get different he heads to replace it every time you go somewhere new but you know i feel like razors number one they're really hard to travel with if like they don't usually come with cases or anything like that so having something small and compact like this is great if you need to just like keep topping up shaving or if you're like me and you literally shave in the morning and in the evening you're hairy again like a godsend. I had to give a mention to what is potentially one of my personal favourite like body moisturisers, particularly in the summer. Again, I will admit that I am quite lazy when it comes to moisturising, but in the summer I try to stay on top of it just to try and prolong my tan. And this is the Continuous Spray Moisturiser by Vaseline love this stuff so much last summer i got so much use out of this i think it was in my favorites last summer my boyfriend really liked using this last summer and i got it again for this summer it's just that good i really like it this one in particular is my personal favorite so this is the cocoa radiant um and it just smells it smells like cocoa it smells like chocolate it smells so good i really love this it's super easy to spray on super easy to um rub into the skin it's just it's just fuss free and if you are anything like me and you are into taking photos and like selfies and just holiday snaps whatever it is i feel like a d body oil can be really 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 good so this is by Cordially, and this is their divine oil you can use it on your body your face or your hair personally i don't think i would use this on my hair and i wouldn't use it on my face either but on your body great in particular on your legs um it's just nice it adds a nice sort of healthy glow to the skin i mean on the collarbones this could look really nice i feel like i would almost use this a bit as a highlighter just to really make my body glow if you've got a tan it will really help make that tan pop and it could just look it's really really nice for photos i personally sometimes think that oils do get a bit in the way and that sometimes i'm like oh god i just feel so greasy but in photos it looks really 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 nice so even if it's just for the gram get yourself a body oil for the summer and finally i have a couple of skincare bits now personally i think a skincare routine and you know just skincare essentials are very personal to you so i don't have too much to show you but i've got like a couple of general pointers first up is the pixie and carolyn Hi hirons double cleanse 
I really, really like this, particularly on holiday. I used this last summer and I really enjoyed it. I think something like this that already has your double cleanse in there is great. So the first side has a solid cleansing oil and then the other one has a cleansing cream. And it's just great. Even if you are limited for space when you're packing, you know, if you've got this little round pot, you're all good. You've got your double cleanse in there and that's great. And as I said, I really enjoyed using this last summer, so I have been saving this one to take away with me this summer. And because I simply cannot go anywhere without any micellar water, I have the micellar cleansing water by Garnier. And this is a mini version, actually. This has 125 milliliters in there. You can definitely get smaller than this one if you are traveling with like just hand luggage, because I believe for just hand luggage, the limit is 75 milliliters. I don't know if it's changed or not, but you can definitely get smaller than this if that's an issue for you. But I just thought this was a really good size. It's a good size for like a couple of weeks or a little bit longer. And it's just great. I am that type of person that is always, always, always using micellar water to take off eye makeup in particular. So yeah, essential in my books. And a micellar water isn't just an essential because I use it every day. It's also an essential because in the summer, I mostly use waterproof mascara. I mean, I am one of those people who uses waterproof mascara all year round, actually, because I have really, like, thin and pointy, downy lashes. But I think a waterproof mascara, you can do no wrong, particularly if you're going on a sort of beach break, if you're going to a resort, if you're going to the beach, if you're going to be at the pool for a lot. I think it's nice to have some mascara. I think even if you've got no other makeup on or you've just got your sun care on, it's quite nice to have a little bit of mascara. I feel like... All us ladies do feel a little bit more put together with some mascara on. So this is the Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. This was in my favourites video, so you've probably seen it then. But I enjoy it very much. I potentially am thinking about repurchasing this in the airport to then have it on holiday again. But it's just such a goodie. But there are quite a few waterproof mascaras on the market. I mean, I'm sure your favourite mascara probably comes in waterproof as well. So it's just worth picking up for a summer holiday. And of course, some lip balm. This is Carmex. I am a huge fan of Carmex. I have so many of these like dotted around the house. But this one in particular, I thought, mm, this this is a summer special. So this is their Watermelon Carmex, which just... I'm feeling all kinds of things. And this is SPF 15 in there, which is really great if you are gonna be in the sunshine. Again, great in the city. If you're in London or in the UK at the moment and it is really hot, if you are abroad and it's really hot, if you're on a city break, if you're at the beach, if you're wherever you are, you can you need lip balm like you just can do no wrong with lip balm the fact this has spf 15 in there is really great and carmix is just one of those brands that in my opinion is like cheap and cheerful there are so many different scents there are so many like different collabs so many different designs so worth picking up for the summer if you don't already have like your fave lip balm and finally i know a lot of this has been quite beauty orientated but i thought i would mention sunglasses because it's so imperative to also take care of your eyes um, and these are just some Ray-Bans. I don't know what they're called. They are like the round Ray-Bans. These are quite new to me, but I do really like them. I'm taking them on holiday with me and they are just great, great to protect your eyes. Also great for your Instagram snaps or your holiday snaps, whatever you're into, get yourself some sunglasses. And I actually think it is worth investing in sunglasses because I have, don't get me wrong, I have a lot of fashion sunglasses, a lot of sort of statement ones and really cool ones that are really affordable but I think just having even if it's just one pair that you know are going to be good for your eyes they're going to be protecting your eyes essential and Ray-Bans you can do no wrong and finally I just wanted to give a quick mention as to how I usually pack these things when I am traveling because it depends greatly you could be going away for a couple of days and only taking hand luggage or you could be going away for a few weeks and be taking luggage that you check in so I mean it really depends and I personally think that beauty can get quite heavy in your suitcase so I think whether you're decanting or just like storing things in particular ways whatever you're doing it's good to know so I really like the Primark travel bottles these come in a pack of seven I'm missing a few because I have been away already and used some of these there's just a huge variety in there you can decant whatever you need to decant and just take as much as you need and another Primark piece is a makeup bag they do a lot of these quite large makeup bags but this one in particular I love because the inside is actually plastic which is great if you're traveling with any liquids that you're worried could spill 
or anything like that. You know, if you're packing these things in with your clothes, you want to make sure you get no disasters with like spillages all over your clothes. So storing them in something like this is great because you avoid that. If it does spill, it will spill inside and then it's wiped clean so you can easily wipe it. Something else I travel with really, really often is, I have no idea what this is called, but it's this thing from Kath Kidston. And I love this because it's just got so many compartments in there. It's got one that's covered up and then it's just got like a few plastic ones all zipped this is also um wipeable so you can just wipe this down if anything does spill and then you can just so easily fold it obviously it doesn't fold as well when it's filled with products but you just keep everything in here and once you get to your hotel or wherever you're staying you can just have this hanging up in the bathroom because it's got a little hanging head thing and i just think it's so good i take this honestly on almost every single holiday i go on i take this with like my skincare and any body care things like that i just really like using this and lastly i thought i would give a quick shout to how to take brushes because personally i find them really really hard to travel with so um eco tools and real techniques do sometimes come out with their travel pouches sometimes you can get these when you buy like packs of brushes so eco tools has this kind of thing which you just pop your brushes in here and then clothes and real techniques has this larger one which you can do the same but then you can also like tilt it down and it becomes a bit of a brush stand which i think is really cool but if you don't have those and you don't really want to like spend money on those a pencil case does just as good of a job this one is by oliver bonus it is a little bit tatty now a makeup brush fits in here absolutely fine like you could just pop them all in here and they are all like safe i guess and you don't have to worry about them getting um like trampled on by like other makeup or getting too squished anywhere and yeah thought i would let you know just in case you didn't and there we go those are my summer essentials slash what to pack for your summer holiday i really hope you enjoyed this video do please let me know if you think i have forgotten anything as well like any essential obviously i mean when it comes to makeup and as i said like skincare pieces i think that's very personal so you just take whatever you like but hopefully I sort of covered all of the bases but do let me know if there is anything I have forgotten because as I said I am traveling in August so I am obviously going to need all of those things so let me know if you think I've forgotten anything and if you are going away I hope you have a really lovely holiday really safe travels it feels a bit weird it feels like I'm already saying my goodbyes but I'm not I've still got a couple of weeks to go in London but my next uh, video is going to be a haul and then I've got my favorites video and then another haul and then we're in August so it's really gonna start creeping up so I thought I would just start getting organized get myself ahead of the game and hopefully help you out if you're traveling too as always a huge thank you for watching please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below as well if there is anything in particular you would like to see with my beauty essentials whilst i am out on holiday i would love to hear any suggestions from you if there's anything in particular you would like to see do let me know don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new around here my next video will be a primark haul i can assure you so do keep your eyes peeled for that and i will see you all then bye